Hello and welcome to 3D Training Institute's Quick Start video series. If you're a beginner to Autodesk Maya, these videos will give you a quick overview of the software to help you decide if you seriously want to pursue a career in 3D. This Quick Start Maya series will walk you through step by step how to work on a project from start to finish, such as modeling, materials, lighting, and rendering. And if you enjoyed your experience working in the software, and you're interested in professional training to find work in this field, then visit 3dtraining.com and sign up for a free one hour intro class for more information. We hope that this quick start video series will help you launch your career in the exciting world of 3D. And remember, we at 3dtraining.com are here to support you in achieving your goals and aspirations. In the next hour, you're going to go from maybe opening Maya for the very first time and not knowing anything about this powerful 3D modeling program to creating a professional looking 3D logo like the one you see here on my screen. Now just a side point on 3D logos, uh, this is a great project for 3D professionals and artists alike. A lot of 3D artists first projects, paid projects, are creating 3D logos. So not only is this a great introduction to Autodesk Maya, but this is also a very valuable skill set that you can have right away to start working professionally in the 3D industry and see just how easy it is to get into it. Now there's a lot of other software packages and tools that allow you to create 3D text and font that you can use for logos, but creating a 3D logo in a 3D software package like Autodesk Maya gives you a lot of control and flexibility. You're going to be able to render from different perspectives and views, and as you get more advanced with the software, you'll be able to create animations that could be used for websites or for commercials for companies and products. So this will be a really fun project to introduce you to Autodesk Maya and see just how fun and exciting it can be to learn this powerful 3D modeling package. Over the next hour, we're going to break this project down into four phases. Uh, we're going to start off with the modeling phase. There we're going to create our 3D logo. So we'll get an introduction to the overall user interface and the main tools that we need to focus on to be able to get this project done. A very fun and more efficient way to learn is focusing on the tools that you need to get a project done. Uh, not only is this more efficient, but it's easier to remember these tools long term as opposed to going through the software menu by menu, tool by tool. So we'll explore the overall interface. Uh, we'll take a look at how we can create text so that we can start our logo and then we'll modify the bevels this chamfered edge that we see here so we'll see what type of settings we have available to create our own look feel and design that'll bring us to stage two in stage two we'll explore materials and textures so here we'll take a look at how we can assign new material shaders to an object and what type of control we have with these materials not only selecting a color but also applying a texture where we get a lot of dynamic control over the look and feel of the color of our logo once our logo has some color applied to it it's in time to create a camera and apply some lights so there we'll get into stage three lighting our scene so here we'll work with creating some point lights. We'll also create a camera to line up the shot to create our rendering. And we'll focus on light attributes, uh, such as the color of a light, the intensity, the ability to turn shadows on and off with our rendering. And we'll even talk about uh, color lighting theories, such as three-point lighting, how we can properly light a 3D logo. Once we have the overall stage um, set up and presented, we'll then get into the very final stage, which is polishing. Uh, a project really comes together in this final phase, the polishing and special effects. So here we'll apply bevel materials to really outline the logo, make it pop. Uh, we'll even use an advanced rendering engine called Mental Ray, which will allow us to really take the quality from something a bit more bland to something very uh, sleek and professional. In this final polishing stage, we'll take a look at how we can output this as a single JPEG or PNG image, which is a good file format for uploading to uh, social networks or sharing with our friends. So this should be a very fun project, so be sure that you have Autodesk Maya installed on your computer and you're ready to follow along with this project. Let's get started.